Bro, I'll be going through with you synopsis, uh, synopsis, um, tutorial, and you can just see, type it in Google, you'll find this information, just see this name here, that's the full name, and SN SNPS is the NASDAQ symbol, it's $131 uh, US dollars for one stock, it's a billion size bomb, it's a big size bomb, that's brilliant, and the dividend yield is none. I just want to point out, any firm that is paying dividend, dividend, that means they're financially very strong because after paying their creditors, loans, liabilities, costs, they still have extra money. That extra money pays to shareholders as dividends. So um, even if the dividend yield is less than 1%, that's a positive sign because that means that the company is financially strong. This firm is not paying any dividend. It could be that they don't they are not financially strong or it could be that they are financially strong they have extra money but they choose to reinvest in the old firm uh, to further expand so there are many reasons for that so this is up to you to find out what are the reasons but I just want to point out that dividend yield is a very important aspect let's go to when was this found in 1986 you can also go to Wikipedia you can see this box you can see found in 1986 and let me see what the employees have to think about this firm I just copy this exactly from Google, please here, indeed, reviews, and 217 reviews, 4.2 star, please read through the reviews yourself, check out the salaries they're paying, jobs listed, the question answers, the photos. Now, I want to see what are the reviews in Glassdoor, that's a very important website for me as well, I can see that there are 1500 reviews, 3.7 star, check out the jobs listed, the salaries they're paying, the benefits they're getting employees are getting the interview questions the photos please read through the reviews yourself and see uh, what employees think about this firm let's go to yahoo finance i want to see who the key executives are and what salaries are they getting i'll just paste it here okay please uh, click the um, nasdaq symbol go to profile and please uh, check out the sector industry and employees i can see that we have five key executives all of their salaries have been shown that's brilliant because we can see all the information from key executives that means there's a lot of transparency and that helps us build trust with the firm now let's go to just the patents and see that does it have any patents or not that's very important for us so I'll just paste this exactly from Google click enter and I just want to point out please look at applicant or assignee because these are people who have full rights of the patent and uh, they have patents in 2013 2012, 13, 12, and so on. They have a lot of patents. That's a very good news because that means that the firm is um, the more the patents the firm has, the more stronger it is in the market, and the more harder it is to beat that firm. They have a lot of patents. Please look out for recent patents in 2015, 16, 17, 18 because that means they're still innovating. That's important for us to know. So um, check out other pages as well. And um, let's go to macro trend. Now I want to see the ratios: click price ratio, price book ratio and paste in the um, SNPS and uh, that's the name if the price book ratio is less than one that means stock is cheap undervalued at a, at a discount if it's if it's more than one that means that the stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets so please wait for the video uh, for the um, website to load because it has a lot of data so don't worry about it it will take time to load but be patient with it but it will make your life quite easy and um, also, I just want to ask, I just want to say that if you want to request me something, if you want me to do research on a particular stock, please let me know. Or if you would, li if you would like to connect with me or if you have any questions for me, uh, please let me know as well. If you think I'm going very fast in this tutorial, I'll um, explain something, um, you know, in detail in the next tutorial. Please let me know. And um, that's great. So I'm just waiting for it to load. Okay, right now I can see that it's 5.02, which means the stock, somebody who buys the stock right now in August 2019, they'll be paying five times more money. It's five times more expensive right now in 2019 January if somebody bought that time they paid they paid 3.68 times more money they bought the stock for $93 which was actually $25 worth so the stock they bought in January 2019 was um, 3.6 times more expensive 
and if somebody bought in 2011 july they bought the stock 1.62 times more expensive so they paid 23 dollars to buy something that was 14 dollars worth right now it's five five times more expensive let's go to other ratios i want to explain current ratio if current ratio is less than one that means stock is risky because there are more liabilities than assets if current ratio is more than is 1.5 or more than that that means that the stock is um, safe it has a good margin of safety please look for 1.5 or more than that for it to be very safe let's have a look Right now, I can see that um, it's 0.95, which means that stock is very risky because it's less than one. Because you can see vertically, up liabilities are more than assets, and um, you know it's a very risky stock. Let's look at the previous trend. So it has over, it has been like since 2018 January up to now consistently, it's less than one. So it means liabilities are consistently more than assets. So it's a very risky stock recently. But before that, even it's you know fluctuating, and it's like. Because ideally, I'm looking for 1.5 more than that, but I can see that since 2008 up till 2010 July, it's 1.5 or more than that. It's consistent, but that's a very short period of time. But after 2010 October up till now, consistently, it's below 1.5, and recently, it's below 1. So it's a very risky stock in terms of that. Let's go to debt, debt equity ratio. I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be safe. Debt equity ratio will tell me if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity. Let's have a look. can see that right now it's um right now it's less than 0.5 that means stock is safe let's look at the previous trend as well i can see that since we have data since we have data about debt like before 2012 it hasn't taken any debt that's brilliant it was mainly operating on equity but since it has taken debt in 2012 april up to now consistently it's below 0.5 so it's a very safe stock in terms of debt let's go to return on equity Right now, I can see it should be more than 8% return on equity for it to be brilliant. It is more than 8%, that's brilliant. And uh, But, you know, there's no consistency for it to be more than 8%. There's fluctuations, it's less than 8%, and there's more than 8%. There are fluctuations. But I can see that overall, since um, 2007, October, it's consistently more than 8%, except for twice in 2018. It's less than 8%, so that's fine, I guess, because consistently it's more than 8% in return on, on equity.